Greetings, oil field fans. Uh, this is Oil Field Geek here. Um, I just uh, thought I'd pop in to give some of you out there a brief lesson in the basics of oil field equipment 101. What you see here is an oil pump. The people that uh, manufactured this little brass model were nice enough to make it that it actually works. Uh, goes up and down. This is modeled after a conventional walking beam pump. The walking beam is uh, pretty much that piece in the center, a beam that goes up and down, uh, which uh, some people gives it a, think gives it a walking appearance. Walking beams were originally used in the drilling process of an oil well back in the early days when they used something called the cable tool method and uh, were then left over the well if it needed to be pumped because the beam's action going up and down pulls a rod up out of the ground, kind of like those of you who've seen a farm water pump but on a much larger scale, which coaxes the oil to the surface. This part is called the horse's head. It looks a little bit like a horse's head. To, to guide the carrier bar, which uh, holds on to the rod that goes down into the ground, the great weight of that rod, which was maybe more than a mile of rod deep, is balanced by this little thing, which is called a counterweight, attached by what's called a Samson arm to the other end of the walking beam. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's where it gets dicey. If you go on the internet and you go to images or pictures and you type in oil wells, you're going to see a bunch of pictures of these, and it will say oil derrick. Ah, wrong. What an oil derrick is, is a tower. So we'll move our little friend over here and uh, give it a little rest. Here we have another artist's rendition of an oil well. Move this other one into the background. And uh, this is a bit of an imaginative thing. Here you see something that looks like a tower holding up a walking beam. Well, this is a little bit closer. There's one problem. This. Uh, artist, this fanciful artist, does have a sort of idea of uh, what you might find in an old-time oil field, except for one problem. He's got the tower in the middle holding the pivot point to the beam. Actually, uh, he's got two different animals kind of uh, put together into one here, in that the tower actually was uh, to go over the oil well, and the walking beam pump goes underneath it. My uh, finger is a very poor example of a walking beam. So, uh, why would you have a tower over an oil well? Well, it's very simple. Even after the oil well is drilled and the pump is put on it, which, by the way, oil men appropriately call putting the well on the pump, all those rods are going up and down in the ground, and occasionally they break. So what you have to do then is there, they used to be in about 40 feet sections, and you have to pull them out of the well one by one and uncouple them and stack them somewhere until you find the broken one so you can fix it. So now we're going to get yet another model, except this one is a little more accurate. Where right here you see the tower, the purpose of it being to have a place to stack the rods as they're pulled out of the ground when the well breaks. If the well is on the pump, the pump goes down underneath. Here we see this pump, and I can't play that music very long because I don't have a copyright notice for it or permission, but the pump goes underneath and the tower goes over it like this. It used to be up until the 1950s that if you went into an oil field with a number of oil wells you'd see rows and rows of these towers with the pumps going up and down underneath. Uh, so why don't you see that today? Well technology marches forward and uh, they finally figured out to make a way to make a portable tower that collapses on itself and then jackknifes onto the top of a big truck which can be driven from well to well as they need servicing. So having each well have its own permanent tower was no longer necessary. So today if you go into an oil field, well, <laughs> they've gone even further where they now have electric wells that are pumped by electric pumps that go right down the well hole, so you may see nothing at all. But if you're lucky enough to have an oil field that still uses pumping units with walking beams, you'll see them like these models here, pumping away with not a tower in sight. They only bring the tower in should the well need servicing. 
Okay, for those of you like me that do not work for the oil industry, but are just oil field geeks that are fascinated by it all, you have now had your first lesson in Oil Field 101. So class, here's the uh, review for the quiz. This is not an oil derrick. This is an oil pump. This is an oil derrick. It's a tower, but it's not part of the pump. The right answer is door number three. Here we have an oil derrick, and underneath it, the walking beam pump right down there. You can even see the horse's head if you look through the cage. And there's the well head right in the middle. Uh, real oil wells, of course, don't have a giant thumb pointing to the well head, but that's a poetic license. You now pass and are officially an oil field geek second class. To be an oil field geek first class, watch for future lessons. Thank you and good day.